It's very common for idols to leave their groups, but it's not that common for them to be kicked out or for it to be public knowledge. So let's talk about the idols that we know were kicked out. Apologies for my echoey voice, I'm in my new office, but it's currently empty. <laughs> Starting with Gugudan Sally. Sally is a Chinese idol who debuted with Gugudan back in 2016. She participated in the Chinese survival program Produce Camp 2020 where she revealed a shocking confession that she was kicked out of her group. She started off saying, I debuted after being a trainee for 5 months in Korea but I sensed a big difference between members from then on. Two of the members were already well known so there was a big gap. They already had fans and the public focused on them. This comment refers to Gugu dancer Juna Minna, who competed in the first season of Mnet survival show Produce 101. They made the final lineup as IOI members. When they finally debuted with Gugu Dan, they gained more attention than the group did as a whole. This had many people questioning the group's future success. Sally continued with, At the beginning of 2019, my agency told me to go back home. When I asked them when I should come back, they told me there was no need to come back. She explained that all the members were told to go home. They all packed their things in their dorm. Even though some members tried to resist, they ultimately left because they had no other option. She even added this, which I thought was really sad. Even when everyone went back, I had no way of going back, so I persisted. I was scared to go back home because then my parents would know about my situation. My parents still don't know what happened back then. In the end, Gugu Dan disbanded in 2020. Fortunately for Sally, she placed 6th in the final ranking, making her a member of the final lineup of the group Bon Bon Girls 303. Glam debuted in 2012 as a 5 member girl group under Big Hit and Sauce Music. Glam is known as Big Hit's curse group and the reason why Big Hit didn't debut girl groups. Soon after Glam debuted, they were met with their first scandal. Rumours circulated that member Trinity was a Sassen fan of Super Junior's Etook. Of course Super Junior fans were furious and Trinity left the group. But the story doesn't end there, things get real messy. In 2014, famous actor Lee Byun Hun accused two women of blackmailing him. The two women being Glam's Dahi and model Lee Ji Young. Long story short, Jion and Dahi went to his apartment for drinks while his wife was away. During the visit, he got drunk and Dahi filmed him making sexual comments towards Jion. Dahi and Jion threatened to release the tapes to the public unless he paid 5 million won immediately. Their plan was to flee Europe after they received the money, but of course they didn't make it far because Dahi was sentenced to one year in jail along with Jion who received a sentence of one year and two months jail time. However, actor Lee Byun Hun dropped the charges so Dahi never actually had to spend time in jail. With the group's image completely ruined, Big Hit was left with no other option but to disband the group. If you're wondering where Dahi is now, she is currently a streamer and she makes roughly around 200 million won each month, which is probably more than she made while in the group. Originally, A-Pink debuted with seven members back in 2011. In 2013, it was announced that Yu Gyeom left the group to focus on her studies, but that wouldn't be entirely true, because soon after, her father took to Twitter to say this. I have asked the company to release a letter of apology stating the truth to A-Pink fans and for Yu Gyeom's return to the group. Fans, please help us. Many fans speculated that the company used Yu Gyeom's father's wealth then kicked her out when they no longer needed her. But the speculations didn't stop there. There were rumours that she was bullied by the other members, however her father cleared that up. I've seen that there are comments putting down A Pink, but what kind of power do those kids have? Even before Yu Gyeom, there were a few members who were kicked out and sent home. They had to go back with their parents to beg to let them return. The kids have done nothing wrong. It's not even worth responding to rumours saying that the members fought or that I paid for their dorm. Just look at the personalities of the kids. And if any kind of money is requested, that is not a normal agency. In the end, no one knows why she was kicked out of the group, but she's currently doing fine. She attended fashion school and is now pursuing a career in fashion design. In February of this year, she did an interview where she mentioned A Pink. Here's what she said. Wow. 
오죽하면 부모님이 속상해 하실까 봐 사실 2013년도에는 특히 걸그룹 제의를 많이 받았어요 그리고 사실 저도 가수라는 꿈이 너무 절실했고 아, 아쉽죠 하고 싶고 마음만은 어떻게든 해보고 싶다 근데 제가 그렇게 되면 기존에 있던 이제 에이핑크라는 그룹에 어쨌든 영향을 가고 This is Jay Park, AOMG High Music. Many may know Jay Park as the soloist rapper and CEO of the independent hip hop record labels AOMG and Higher Music, but he didn't start off independently. Jay Park debuted as the leader of the boy group 2PM in 2008, and he was cancelled before cancel culture was even a thing. In 2009, past comments on Jay Park's personal MySpace from 2005 were found. In his apology letter, he revealed that he moved to Korea as a high school student and found it difficult to adjust to the culture and he felt lonely and became homesick. I couldn't communicate with others, my taste buds didn't fit and I barely knew the culture which I couldn't understand. Time passed by and I forgot that I had even written them. I am now embarrassed and truly sorry of those comments I had made. After that time, I had adjusted to everything and my thoughts had changed tremendously as I thanked the people around me to get me to perform on stage in any situation. Those comments were made four years ago but I am a different person now. The hate he received was massive. For example, a petition was created titled J-Bom should commit su- A few months after the scandal, he left the group and returned to America. Despite the hate he received, he still had fans that supported him and wanted him to return. He worked his way up again to become the J-Park we know today. Hello, I'm Hwa Young. Boy24 debuted in 2016 through a survival show with the same name. In 2017, member Hwayon was the centre of a controversy after a leaked audio revealed him bad-mouthing fans. <laughs> His label CJENM announced that it's in the group's best interest that he leaves Boy24 and the company as to not further ruin the group's image. Victor is a Brazilian Korean drummer who debuted with the rock band About To in 2018. He trained for 8 years only to be kicked out 3 weeks into his debut. He was forced out of the group for breaking a drumstick. Here's what he had to say about it. I broke a drumstick, not a person's neck. So I've been banned from going on broadcast. Because I broke a drumstick, my neck also got broken. Krona X Entertainment rebutted Victor's claim on how he was fired from the company, claiming that it was not due to breaking a drumstick but due to his unpredictable and violent behaviour. Victor clarified all the claims and that his company were false. After his departure from the group, he created a YouTube channel called Victor the Drum Destroyer, which was a fan-given name. His channel was really successful, however, he had to delete everything due to legal reasons. The case went to trial with Corona X Entertainment requesting to stop all his entertainment activities on all accounts for the next seven years. Victor announced that he won the case against Corona X Entertainment on a YouTube livestream, which officially terminated all his ties to the former company. Baby Fox debuted in 1997 as a five-member group. The group were known as Spice Girls of Korea and the female HOT. However, one member hid a secret. Lee Gai lied about her age and convinced DR Entertainment that she was only 20 years old, when she was really 30. The company kicked her out of the group and replaced her with Yoon Eun Hae, who was 15 at the time. 안녕하세요. 저는 신혜시대 어른공주 제시카입니다. The legendary girl group Girls' Generation debuted in 2007. In 2014, one of the most shocking news was announced. Jessica had left Girls' Generation. It's unclear what really happened between SM, Jessica and the other members, but one thing was clear, she got kicked out. Take this with a grain of salt, but this is what roughly happened. In August 2014, Jessica launched her own fashion line Blanc, which was later renamed Blanc and Eclair. While SM did allow Girls' Generation to pursue other dreams, they may have seen this as a threat since they weren't profiting from it. On September 2014, Jessica gave a statement on her Weibo. I was excited about our upcoming fan events, only to shockingly be informed by my company and eight others that as of today, I'm no longer a member 
I'm devastated. My priorities and love is too severe as a member of girls generation, but for no justifiable reason I am being forced out. Many thought she was hacked, but it was true. Girls generation was no longer a nine member group. Rumour has it Jessica initially was supposed to go on hiatus after Girls' Generation finished their Japan Dome tour on the 24th. So it seems that SM didn't want to work on her terms but their own. Since leaving Girls' Generation, Jessica focused on her business, has a YouTube channel, is a soloist, actress and even published a novel called Shine. Hyona made her K-pop debut in 2007 as a member of Wonder Girls, then re-debuted in 2009 as a member of 4 Minutes, later becoming a soloist. Dawn, formerly known as Edon, was a member of Pentagon. Together they were in Triple H, which was a subunit under Cube Entertainment alongside Pentagon's Huey. On August 2018, rumours floated around that Hyona and Dawn were dating. Cube Entertainment denied the rumours, however Hyona and Dawn confirmed their relationship and admitted they began dating in May 2016. Unhappy with this confirmation, Cube Entertainment announced they would be terminating both their contracts. Cube Entertainment cited loss of trust as a reason for kicking them out. In 2019, both Hyona and Dawn signed with P-Nation, which was a new agency founded by Psy. They are still dating and both are successful soloists. The power couple will be collaborating on an album this year. The latest scandal to circulate the K-pop industry is b**** and school v This all began after twins known as Lee sisters were banned from Korea's national volleyball team after it was revealed they abused their elementary and middle school teammates. This snowballed into many bullying accusations towards other celebs and idols, so Jim being one of them. On the 20th of February 2021, someone accused idol Sojin of allegedly bullying her younger sister in middle school. She accused her of school violence such as calling her sibling and her sibling's friends to the bathroom and making them slap each other, calling her sister an outcast loner in a group text, stealing others' uniform, drinking and smoking, and riding motorcycles with boys. Cube Entertainment denied the accusations of school violence but confirmed Sojin and the accuser's sister had an argument which might have been overheard by the sister. In the statement, Cube also mentioned they'll take legal action against those who have posted false claims with malicious intent. During this time, actress Sojin uploaded a cryptic story on Instagram which read, None of your excuses. Many wondered if this had anything to do with Sojin because they went to the same middle school. On the 22nd, Sojin shared her side. She admitted to smoking but has since quit, and that she's embarrassed about her past. Regarding the bullying accusation, Sojin denied ever hurting anyone or being violent. She also claimed she viewed the accuser's sister as a friend, but after an argument over the phone, they drifted apart. In her statement, she also mentions actress Sojine and how they never spoke to each other in middle school. On March 4th, Cube announced that Sojin has halted all activities and Idol will continue as a five-member team for the time being. On March 19, Sojin released a lengthy statement breaking down all the accusations. Cube also released a statement saying they will file a criminal complaint against the spreaders of false rumours and malicious commenters including the first accuser at the Gangnam police station. On March 26, actress Sojine released a statement about an individual and her group that verbally harassed her in middle school. She didn't reveal a name but adds, The individual says they do not remember and they never spoke with me and this is true. It was entirely one-sided verbal harassment. The wording of this comment links back to Sojin's comments about the actress. On August 14, Cube announced that Sojin will be leaving Idol. According to Entertainment Insider, Cube Entertainment decided to remove Sojin from Idol back in February due to the initial spread of her bullying allegations. Lastly, a text message between a user and Sojin A was made public where she revealed this. We've come to the end of the video. It must have been hard for most of these idols during the time they were first kicked out, but in the long run, it may not be the worst thing. Just look at how much some of these idols accomplish after leaving their groups, so there's always hope.